All right, so we can put that on and uh, go for a little mushroom hunt. YouTube, what's up? Um, I'm hanging out with the Wooded Beardsman. And we're going to go and pick some mushrooms. But that's not how we started our day today. Our day started last night, actually. We are taking the Ontario Fur Manager's trapping course. We're going to become certified trappers. So that's kind of cool. Um, but that runs for about nine days. So we are filling in all of our spare time with adventures. And our adventure this morning was to go to a farm that I know. Um, they have some pigeons that are pooping on their hay and stuff. Um, so we went in and we shot two pigeons to have for our lunch. So those pigeons are now plucked, bacon wrapped, spiced, apple stuffed in the cast iron pan cooking as we speak. And we also set a pigeon trap to catch the rest of them. So we're trialing this uh, pigeon trap. It's got some corn in it and it's sitting there. Um, one of the farmers there is going to keep an eye on it for us and then let us know um, if it catches anything. So it's kind of cool. It's got little one-way doors on it so the pigeons can get in but not get out. Uh, we just wired the doors so they're open right now but then we're going to drop the doors and then hopefully the catching begins. So uh, let's go get some mushrooms to go with our supper. We are also going to check in on the bear bait stand that I've got here, which isn't hasn't been active yet, but we'll see if anything's going on there. And other adventures, follow along. I went out yesterday to do, you may or may not know that I've been doing some beetle trapping, natigulid beetles, on behalf of the Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry as part of a monitoring program. But anyway, while I was doing that, I found yellow chanterelles, winter chanterelles, black chanterelles, hedgehog mushrooms, boletes, king boletes, and birch boletes, the lechinums. So I had a pretty good incidental haul and um, because of that and just because of the weather in general and the time of season, I think we're going to do all right today. Nice. That was a chanterelle, but no, no, I don't know any mushrooms. So Apparently, it probably is not something I should know anyway because they always give make you so gastrointestinal issues. Well, the chanterelle we did it with Zach, so they were good. Yeah, uh, I actually and was okay with them. Steve cooked you some mushrooms that you were fine with. That's true, he did. So now you're only like two for four <laughs> of things I can't eat. So we should the honey mushrooms no, were the like, ones. The honey mushrooms, yeah. yeah. The honey mushrooms definitely bother me. But it also could have been like, they have to be cooked well. Yeah, and, and that's some something people, that Steve told me about. Some people just aren't tolerant to certain mushrooms. It's or true. some people are intolerant to certain mushrooms. Yeah. There's one almost under your foot there. It may or may not be good. You want me to just pick it? It's been chewed a bit. Yeah. You can see those from a long ways off. A giant pile of puffballs. They're actually, um, this is an interesting spot because this is an old collapsed building where people homesteaded once upon a time. And these are growing out of the, these would be untreated rough cut boards because when this place was built, there was no treated lumber. But uh, there are hundreds of puffballs here and they seem to be in good condition. So we'll, uh, Add a few of those. Puffballs aren't really my faves, but they, uh, when they're there, it's hard to pass them up. So we won't. We'll we'll stop and pick a few. You gonna eat some, Chris? Um, am I just picking for me? I don't know. <laughs> Did I eat them before? I'm not sure. Puffballs are like a pretty universally eaten mushroom. I don't hear anybody complaining about getting sick. From well, eating puffballs. I've eaten puffballs before. Like yeah. like the, the giant ones. They're related to the giant ones, yeah. Yeah, I've had the giant ones before. They were good. Okay. Well let's let's pick this money. Sounds then we'll good. Go look for some more mushrooms. Well, we're at two species. Um looking around for some more. Here's one of my least favorite. This one's not really eatable right now. It's too far gone, but it's a 
lobster mushroom, so Hypomyces, which is a parasite on another host mushroom, and it turns it this uh, funky orange color. We'll probably find more down the trail, and they may be in better condition. So we'll check along uh, this trail here. We are on our way to... Bushcraft Camp. Bushcraft Camp, Fort in the Woods. Uh, go check on the condition of it. We haven't been there in a while. And um, we thought on some of our free time days, we might uh, come up here and cook. Maybe shoot the bows. Oh, hey, yeah, sure. bring a target up, shoot the bows. Shoot do a little bit of work. Shoot some some, yeah, season's open pretty soon. And, uh, you know, have a fire. Bring some pots up. Just have a good time. This is going to pop ahead to the bushcraft camp. I'm deking off to the side here because I saw the orange flash of chanterelles. It looks like two of them are not in good condition and one of them is maybe that little stub there too and somewhere over there as well are a few that we can go and pick so let's uh how about this guy i always trim my mushrooms before i put them in the basket because I hate to pick a bunch of half dirty mushrooms, <clears throat> throw them in a basket and then get home to a bunch of completely dirty mushrooms where all the dirt has just bounced around and infiltrated all the little nooks and crannies of your mushrooms. So I'm a big fan of cleaning as I pick. There's little guys, and over here, I can squeeze through here. There's another one. You hear geese going by. That one's not terrible. It's not really great either, but. Okay, actually. Hidden along here. That one's a bit mushy. Ooh, this one's, that one's perfect. So, as mushrooms often do, these ones are kind of following a line or a gradient in the habitat. And they are all along through here. Chanterelles everywhere. And these are good ones for Christy. Not too many people have issues with um, yellow chanterelles, so I think we can safely feed him some. I'm gonna put this camera down because there's just chanterelles all through here. We'll see what we get. Well, that's a good amount for uh, we just need enough for supper tonight. And uh, if we want more tomorrow, we'll come back out and look for some more. So when I came out and had a peek here a few weeks ago, the uh, spring thaw had not been kind to the bushcraft camp. It was looking a little bit wobbly. And uh, some of the supports that were set in the snow had slid. Oh, it looks worse than the last time I was here. Way worse. Did a tree fall on it? Ah, when I was here before, the whole thing was still standing. Might have just slipped off. Yeah. Huh. Oh, like they all slid downwards, kind of. I thought it cracked at first, but it looks like it just... Maybe just the roof slipped off. Ooh. Or maybe these guys fell this way and pushed all the roof off. 
Brutal. Um, surprisingly dry under where the tarp and the roof are still intact. You could sleep right there. Huh. Well, I don't know how much of that I want to tackle without my gloves on. It's a lot I'm of sticky doing, balsam. Yeah, I'm just doing a little bit so that you get it. Yeah. To walk the back. Okay. Down there, but. Yeah, so we might come back and work on this, eh? Yeah. Get it back. Yeah. I think once it's on solid ground, because we had it on the snow before, right? That was super tricky, but once it's on solid ground, it should be good for a while. Yeah, it just, everything settled down and fell. Yeah. Like once this was off kilter with the snow melting, it just yeah. gave up. Yeah. But all the pieces are still here. It won't take that long to rebuild it. No, it shouldn't. Just have to re-engineer it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll bring up some better rope this time too. Most of the work was was gathering cutting, the materials. Cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting yeah. and cutting. And we can spruce this place up a little bit, clear yep. out a little bit of the grassy areas, yeah, and yep. maybe have a big bonfire and burn some of the sticks up. Yeah, I like that. Right? I forgot we left a shovel up here, so <laughs> that's, uh, we'll leave it for now, because we'll use that to spruce up our fire pit. There's our, all of our old firewood is still here. Bushcraft table. That'll be all right. Well, we were gonna pick some potatoes and carrots, right? I almost forgot. Yeah, there's a blue jay in my garden. So, I don't know about this compost method. I don't know if I put it on thick enough. I just don't know. Because there's a potato plant here. But there's no potatoes on it. Well, a couple of little half green ones. So for next year, I'm just gonna have to use more mulch. Carrots. I haven't picked any carrots yet this year. I don't even know what they look like. <gasps> yeah, they look like a carrot. How many of those do we want? One, two, three. Oh. Or two carrots each. Sure. All right. You want to grab that bowl? There's the zucchini patch. All the cucumbers are dead. Uh, I followed Stevie Funfer's advice and I trimmed all my tomatoes and I see some of them are already getting red fast. So that's good. And then in the potato patch, I guess we'll go over here. And I saw my sister has started digging potatoes at this end. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. Something laid some eggs in there in the soil. Oh, nice potatoes. One, two, three. Uh, it's not such a big haul of potatoes per plant. How many potatoes do you want to eat? Uh, maybe one or two. All right. So we only need not too many more then. Nice potato. Oh yeah. There we are. There's a couple of nice ones. Not a good one. Oh, this was a good plant. Six potatoes. I guess that's all of them.
I just uh, turned it a little bit lower because it seemed to be going a little bit hot. some uh, wild mushrooms cooking up in what is this it's like chicken juice it's chicken stock with uh, coconut milk and Ooh. look at there so there's your catch and cook pigeon we're going to eat this and uh, if you want to watch us eating and listen to us yakking away about stuff uh, a little bit of fog here then um, foggy. yeah it's pretty foggy shake it. shake it oh that's good pop over to the Wood Beardsman's channel that's where we'll be talking the talk uh, and eating the eats and uh, catch you on the next video the wooded beardsman said can't end the video unless I show a taste. Well, oh, it's cruel. So, how about you take you take your whole audience on a whole adventure? <laughs> you're like, yeah, I, I'm gonna turn the camera off and eat it, and you don't let anybody know what it tastes like. Yeah, you gotta let people know. They got they, everybody's wondering what's going on here. I know. I I was being lazy. So, here we are. There's our pigeon and a little bit of puffball. It's a double P mouthful here. Well, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> let's let's reshoot that. Here's our pigeon and our puffball. That was really good. Tender. The bacon was good. Mm -hmm. The whole dish is nice and fatty. The fresh garden carrots and potatoes with butter are excellent. The mushrooms came out nice and thick because they simmered down in coconut milk and chicken stock it is an excellent self-grown wild-caught meal yeah so. and it's probably just almost the right amount of meat mm -hmm. we could maybe double but whatever <laughs> <laughs> maybe double maybe double there's maybe enough, double the meat and have the vegetables there's enough protein in there anyway yeah. for today yeah so um i apologize for almost being lazy <laughs> not taking you along on the tasting part of the journey well, there it is hope you enjoyed um chris is up here for eight more days so we have lots more adventures planned follow along and uh yeah someone was asking about your beard so you can see <laughs> the wooded beardsman is still bearded i shaved it it just grew back oh <laughs> right away yeah <laughs> is it true that you were born with a beard I heard, I heard a rumor it's a fact a legend yeah yep there it goes, is, folks. Goes back overnight, too. Now you know.